Hi and welcome back to the Tactic Show. This video is assisted by OneSport software. OneSport is one of the popular sports video analyzer. Now you have the opportunity to create TV-like analysis using the OneSport software. Their link is in the description below. When we hear about Simeone, we primarily recognize a tough pressing defensive side. It is true, but what we must praise is the consistency of the team and the ability of the manager to produce the same from his trusted gathering of players. The Rohi Brancos are on this campaign with the same intent true to their generic style of play. Simeone is critically considered as one fine modern manager, but fans lack the liking of an overall compactness which is certainly not visually entertaining and also for the absence of major trophies on a recurring basis, as a silverware is the measuring scale in this fair world. Atletico Madrid lines up in their 4-4-2, but with the choice of versatile players, he flexibly changes it into a 3-5-2 or a 5-3-2. Jan Oblak starts in the goal. He is one of the sought-after goalkeepers in the game. With terrific performances for the side over the time, in front of him is an excellent defensive unit. The backline has always been the mainstay for Simeone's team. After Godin's departure, there were concern about the void, but Stefan Savic have maturely grown himself into a solid pillar. Savic is mostly assisted by Philippe. On the right, the addition of Trippier has boosted the system. Trippier provides the width and pace as a right back or as a right wing back in the 3-5-2, contributing to three goals till now and a top crosser of the team. On the opposite side, it is either Lodi, Hermoso or Carrasco. We are associated with Carrasco playing higher up the pitch, but Simeone, utilizing him as a wing back, started providing another dimension to the game. This versatility has given Atleti's game flexibility this season. When Thomas Partey left, Atleti started to deploy Saul and Koke in the middle. Their individual skill provides the pivotal fulcrum. Saul gives Atleti the advantage to break opposition play. Koke has been utilized as a wide player, so his return in the middle also adds an option in the build-up. In transition, when a forward drops, Koke or Saul moves up to partner in the play, and the second midfielder falls deep to provide counter stability, transforming into a 4-1-4-1 shape. Thomas Lemmer is utilized in both the flanks as a wide midfielder because of his versatility in the wings, while Angel Correa has owned the right side of the park. He is the top assist provider in this phase of the league and a poaching forward means they have a high conversion rate. However, similar to the left back, the left wing of this team has variable options, but Carrasco is the preferred starter. The Rohi Blancos struggled to find rhythm up front after Griezmann left. Felix was a great addition and now he is slowly maturing in a more dependable forward role. He is linking up play and falls down to a more number 10 role, making them a 4-4-1-1 which provides more creativity helped by a clinical forward in Suarez. Suarez can be an unprofessional bad boy with his behavior. But just on skill set, he is undeniably a forward teams struggle to replace. His touch, finishing, and intelligent use of space have really improved this team's conversion rate. He is also coming down to link up play from the middle when other forwards can go on a prey. Atletico Madrid has made a great start. With the tradition of consistency, Simeone would like to bring a silverware this season. The initial struggle of the La Liga big boys gives them an upper hand, but it will be unfair to make this factor the sole reason. Also what to look forward is the tenacious games in the continental competition this team might produce. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up, share with your friends and the gracious subscribe will really motivate us. Thank you for watching.